watching this first at Tyab Ram. Whoever has wondered what happened to all of my other videos, my normal versatile videos where I do not talk about makeup are on my other channel, Miss Versatile. I'm going to put the link here somewhere on the picture. Um, but Miss Versatile Rom is just going to be my makeup channel. And today I decided to do my very, very first haul video. Mm. Because I'm living in Germany, sometimes I have problems getting the products that I want. And I decided to go on an adventure. I decided to look at eBay to see what I could find there. And I found a few things. First, though, I'm going to show you the things that I bought in a drugstore that we have here in Germany. It's called EM. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first start with the lipsticks that I got. And one of them I'm wearing right now. And it's from a company called Paid Spy. It's P2. That is the name of the company. I don't know if you can see it. Because I'm doing this here in the living room, the lighting is kind of different. So once I upload it, I'm going to see if I'm going to be satisfied with the lighting or not. But anyway, to get back to the lipstick, this is my favorite one. It's 040. Wall Street is the name of it. And I have been wearing this every day. I meant to do this haul video a little bit earlier. But I never got around to it because I'm so busy. I've got I've got my normal house stuff that I have to do. Then um, I teach English, and I'm a single mom. So um, I really try to get these videos done regularly. So if you don't see a video of mine, just please be patient with me. But anyway, back to this lipstick. Like I said, it's kind of like a brownish color. And it is my absolute favorite. I've been wearing it like every day. I just love it, love it. And these are really inexpensive. And I've been looking for good lipsticks for quite some time. And I've kind of, I've had my NYX NYX uh, lipstick that I've been using. But it's almost gone, so I really had to get something new. So I decided to try these from Pete's Vi. And they're really, really good. What I usually do is I put kind of like a chapstick I get this here in the German pharmacy. It's a special chapstick. I put that on my lip first. And then I place the lipstick on top of it. And they really last a long time. Um, I don't know if they would last longer if I would put it on my natural lip or if I would just put it directly on my lip without the, the, the chapstick. Um, but I really like them. They're, they're really creamy and my daughter saw me the other day and she said, Mom, do you have lip gloss on your lips? And I said, no. And then uh, I showed her the lipstick, so um, they're really nice and creamy and last forever. Okay, the next one is called Rue Saint Honoré, I guess. It's French. And what is the number? It's 140, so if you ever get a chance to get P2 or P2, I don't know if you're going to be able to get it when you're in the States. And this is the color, and it's more for my dramatic looks. That's what I bought it for. And it's a red, I don't know if the camera's picking it up very well, like I said, I'll see it once I upload the video. It's a red with like a blue undertone, so it's almost like a purple. Um, it's really nice. That's going to be for my dramatic looks. And my super, super dramatic lipstick is called Champs de Lysie. What a Champs de Lysie. There we go. And the number for that one is 150. And this is like really dark. I mean, it's like a dark brown, but it seems to have like blue undertones also because it's almost, you can see like a purple color in it. So um, I think it has more blue than red in it. Just gorgeous. Cannot wait to use this. And I decided to get um, a lip liner. And this is really, this is from Pate's Eye also. And it has a little brush on the one side. And on the other side, this is the color. So what I do is I use this for around the lips and especially here on the corners. And then what I do is the farther the lip goes in, the lighter it gets. So I cannot wait to use that. I'm going to be doing then another look. Um, I'm going to be putting in a picture in here. done the look but what I'd like to do is I'd like to redo the look in a tutorial form 
because it is so easy to do, but um, I'll talk about that in just a second. The other thing that I bought in DM is it's a bronzing powder from Essence. I don't know if you can see it. And it's actually for brunettes or darker skin. Um, the reason why I bought this bronzing powder is because if I'm going to be doing a drag look, I really like all the different colors that are in here, and I am going to be needing some dark colors when I do a drag look, and I'm very fair skin because I have red hair, so I'm a really light skin type. Um, I can't wait to use this, so once I use it, I'll let you guys know. Um, okay, those are the things that I've bought. Oh, there's one more, actually. Um, it's a glitter powder. This is what it, what it is. It's iridescent, I think. And I just love, love this stuff. I actually have iridescent glitter on my eyes every single day when I'm teaching anyway. On the weekend, I really don't wear much makeup. Today is Sunday, so I don't have very much makeup on. Um, but it's just such a gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful, glittery white with a whole bunch of different colored sparkles on it. So um, I just love this. So I had to buy that. And what I'm going to do, it's kind of like a shaker, like a salt shaker. I'm just going to remove the plastic part here. And I'm going to take, I think it's my 212 MAC brush, and I dip it in there, and then I place it on my eyes. So I'm not going to be using the shaker variation. Um, okay, the exciting part comes now. <laughs> I bought stuff at eBay. It's really difficult for me to buy stuff here in Germany or anything that I will be willing to pay for because some of it is really, really expensive. So I checked out eBay and I found this absolutely perfect little shop and they had Coastal Scents, and I've been looking for Coastal Scents on eBay for like years, and I, they must have just opened their shop. So I just totally bought them out. Ha! Huh. Uh, not really. But um, I'm going to start with the easy one. It's the Coastal Scents Camel Quad, and of course it's concealer. At the age of 42, I still have blemishes. So what I'm going to be using mostly is the green. That's this here. Wait. This is the green. Then they've got, they've got like the pinkish purple here, the blue, and the yellow. And of course, depending on what look I'm going to be doing, I'm going to probably be using all of them. But for myself, like, you know, one, an everyday thing, I'm going to be using the green one because the green kind of blocks out the red. Then I bought a smoky palette. It's a 36 eyeshadow palette from Coastal Scents. Okay, of course it's got, and the little thing, it's got that plastic sheet that, you know, covers everything to protect the colors. And look at these colors. I mean, aren't they gorgeous? They are so gorgeous. I can't wait to use all of these. Okay, so that is my Smoky Palette 36 colors from Coastal Scents. So once I do a look using this, I'll do another live tutorial. Okay, and the last thing that I bought from Coastal Scents is... And what I've done with, this is the makeup, um, the brush roll. This is what it looks like. Okay, it has a little, kind of like a clasp thingy here that you just pull forward. And then it just slips out when you open it. And what I've done is I've put my other brushes in here that I use regularly. Just kind of a uh, space saver thing. So the actual Coastal Scents brushes are the red ones that you see here. The other ones that you see are, of course, my other brushes. So this is what it looks like. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the largest brush first. Let's get a little closer here. Okay, this must be kind of like a blush brush foundation brush, I guess. It's the biggest one, and what I've done is between these two areas, what I've done is I have taken nail polish and just clear nail polish and I have sealed off that area so that when I do wash my brushes that they don't get wet on the inside of the shaft, which I do not want. Okay, and then this is the next one. It's a little bit smaller, 
So I'm sure it's for contouring or smaller areas if you just, you know, depending on what areas you're going to be using, whichever powder, what have not, then that is what that is going to be for. I'm not an expert on brushes. Like I've said, I'm just starting out. So um, I'm going to get to know these brushes and then once I'll get better at it, then I'll be able to talk about what I do with them. So I have no idea. This is... Um, an angled contour brush, I'm sure. So when you're doing highlighting or you just want to get this little area here between your cheekbone and your jawbone, the indentation here, that's probably what you can use that for. Um, I think they're all synthetic. I don't think they're real hair brushes. I think they're all synthetic, so, um, but this one you can definitely see that it's a thin, thin, thin synthetic, synthetic, so now I've got it. Hair, this is probably for your liquid foundation. And like I said, I seal them all off. I'm going to see how well that works once I get them, once I wash them. This one I think is really, really interesting because it is so thick. Um, I've never seen one like this before. So um, it's probably also used for highlighting. Then we've got, that's probably a very large shader brush. Then I've got this one here. That looks like a normal everyday shader brush. Um, I've got a couple of these actually. So uh, it's just, I've used this basically for placing large amounts of eyeshadow on my eyelid. Then I don't have one of these, so I was really happy to get this here. That's, of course, if you're going to be doing something with your eyelashes or your eyebrows. So that's what that one is for. The next ones I'm going to be really excited about using because I like to work with detail. So this is smaller. As you can see, the bristles are a lot smaller. And they're very, very stiff. So if I'm going to be doing anything with fine lines. This is probably something I'm going to be using. I also like this. I actually, this is, yes, this is not from Coastal Sense. This is like my little um, brush that I use when I have fallout. You know, I kind of like brush it away. And this is one, this one here that I'm going to show you is from Coastal Sense. It's super small. So you can be a lot more precise about where you want to get your fallout off. You know, if you just have like a small area, that's what you can use this for. So I'll be really excited about using this. Then this one is really cute. <clears throat> it's got white bristles. They're definitely synthetic. And um, it's very, very stiff and very, very small. I mean, it hardly has any, any um, large area here in the front. So this is going to be also I'm going to use this for very, very fine, intricate detail. Then I've got this one here. This is a, probably a small shader. Or if you're going to be working, for example, like on the inside of your eye, placing um, eyeshadow there, this will be perfect for that. Then we've got your pencil brush. If you need to do any smudging, this is what that one is going to be used for. And I am really excited about this one here. It's an angled brush, and it is, well, I'm going to be using it for eyeliner, or if I have any, like on my, my dramatic looks, if I like have any lines that I have to draw in black, I'm going to be using this one. So I'm really excited about that, and this one also. So if I have any shading to do, as in, if I have a black line and I want to pull it into the color that I have placed under the black line, I'm going to be probably going to be using this one. The most exciting thing that I bought, I mean, this was pretty exciting for me anyway. The most exciting thing that I bought is from the company Grimace. Grimace is a German company, and what they usually have is they have wet or water-based face paint colors. And I found this little shop on eBay where they have baked eyeshadows, which is absolutely incredible for me because I have been looking for something, instead of always using my wet um, colors, I want to have something 
dry. And it is a look that I did with these colors. And they're the primary colors. And what are primary colors? Primary colors are, I will show you, let's see if I can do this. These are primary colors. So you've got your yellow, your blue, and your red. And the, I'm going to show you, this is the yellow one. So it's number 281 from Grimma's. This way around, okay? And it's a very bright yellow. Then we've got the 544. And this is the red. And then, this is really cool because the sun is shining. You guys are really going to be able to see this. What was the number? 384 and it is the blue. And for those of you who don't know what you can do with these colors, I will just tell you, most people know, but I'm gonna say it anyway. If you mix the yellow with the blue, you get green. Okay, you can have any color green on the color scale, anything, depending on how much yellow you use and depending on how much blue you use. Then, if you mix the yellow with the red, you can get orange. Okay, and like I said before, anything on the color scale from yellow to red, you can get mixing these colors. And you can mix red and blue together, and then you will get purple. So you can basically do a rainbow look with this. And like I said, the picture that I'm going to be putting in is a look that I did just with these colors. And of course, it is really, really important to have the basics, the white and the black. And of course the black is for darkening anything and the white is for helping, or the black doesn't matter, helping the colors just literally pop. So the white is the 001 and this is what the white looks like. Okay, I hope this is not blurry. I'm going to see at the end of the video. Then we've got the black is the 101. Okay, that's what that looks like. And what I really got excited about is I have been wanting to try out some um, fixing powder. So once I have the makeup on, especially when Carnival comes, which is in March this year, that's pretty late, but I'm, I'm excited about that. I'm going to be doing some looks for that. It's a fixing powder. They don't have a number for this. They just call it fixing powder. And it is white. So when you put it on, it's probably going to be transparent. I have not tried this out yet, okay? But those are the things that I bought by eBay. And I'm going to redo that look um, as a tutorial so you can see how easy this is to do. I love my 88 palette, and I love my Coastal Scents 36 uh, color palette. But um, I'm going to try a whole bunch of different looks just with these colors. And the interesting thing is, is once you've got um, the colors and you don't need them, you can stack them away. So they just kind of stack up on top of one another, which is really great. So, And then you can put them away. And I got this one here. So if anybody's interested in what type of makeup I have, and, and this is how I store it. And of course I've got my mini palette stuff. But uh, I had to organize my stuff. And in here, like I said, is MAC and my fake max. Yes, I do have fake max, so that's what's in here. Um, and in the other one, I've got all my other stuff. So, um, of course, all my glitters. So that is my haul video. I hope you guys liked it. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch it. I hope you're having a great week. If the weekend's coming close, have a great weekend. Thanks so much, and talk to you soon. Bye.